Have you ever wondered how medical images are digitized and displayed? What is the process for acquiring data from patient exposures by different modalities in medical imaging? All medical imaging modalities emit exposures. We record the interaction of the exposures with patient tissues. The acquired information is then digitized and analyzed for use in creating diagnostic images. All imaging modalities emit energy from the electromagnetic spectrum. The energy produced as an exposure by the different modalities only varies by frequency. It is the use of energy and its interaction with tissue that allows us to create digital images. All electromagnetic radiation can also be considered to be particles or photons traveling at the same speed but with different energies. Here we see the formula for Planck's constant which describes this phenomenon. Energy is demonstrated as wavelengths of frequency. All electromagnetic radiation travels at the speed of light with different energy. A sinusoidal wave is created. A wave has two attributes, wavelength and frequency. The product of the two equals the speed at which the photons travel. Wavelengths with longer wavelength have lower energy. The shorter the wavelength, the greater the energy. At one end of the spectrum we have radio waves which have very long wavelengths and at the other we have very short waves such as in X-ray. High frequency or short wavelength are used for gamma rays and X-rays while MRI uses radio frequency. Each imaging modality uses a different form of these wavelengths to produce energy. These frequencies range from a few kilohertz to tens of megahertz. There was a time and not long ago that all medical images were either X-rays or gamma rays nuclear medicine, or radiology. Today we use a myriad of energies or frequencies with different types of modalities, such as X-ray, which would be fluoroscopy and mammography, CT, nuclear medicine, positron emission tomography, magnetic resonance, and of course ultrasound. Digital medical imaging is a two-part process. The collection of data concerning the interaction of some form of radiation with tissue and the transformation of these data into an image. The data acquisition methods used in imaging play an important role in image formation. Optimized with the imaging instrumentation, the data collection methods become a decisive factor in determining the best temporal resolution and spatial resolution. In electronic imaging, the functional parts of conventional radiology have been separated into image capture, image storage, and image display. All digital imaging modalities convert analog or continuous information into digital or discrete information or finite numbers for computer processing of the image data. This data is then configured to be visualized on a monitor by humans. This is the process of analog to digital and digital to analog conversion. Let's take a moment to review how this information is captured and converted into an image. One characteristic of this process is that the digital information from the modalities drastically increases the number of images they a digital image is a matrix of pixels. The term pixel is a contraction of picture element and describes the smallest unit of a digital image. The advantage of digital imaging is that each level and nature of each level can be changed. Pixels are deterministic. They are samples and represented by a number. They can only have one value at a time. A pixel can't be partly one color and partly another. Digital signals are sampled and quantified to create images. In processing data, we need to understand how we make a digital presentation. The image should preserve the geometry and relative sizes of objects in the image. Prior to post-processing the image, you should preserve the luminous values of objects in an image and the overall contrast. 
The amount of image data collected should be sufficient so that we do not have noise, which is a snowy effect that is seen often when you have too little data for the image collection. We also need to preserve the edges of the image and their boundaries, sharpening them whenever possible, but getting away from aliasing. The aliasing is when the image is enlarged and gets a stair-step effect. When energy interacts with tissue, we are seeing the type of tissues that are being interacted with, both in their composition and thickness. The image contrast produced by an object depends upon the attenuation of the energy interacting with the tissue. The intensity of these interactions are saved as pixels, and we know their size and their location. Therefore, we can use these pixels to create images. Every image or type of image has its own histogram. The primary image histogram captures the data and proportionately we can post-process the data to create new images. This image demonstrates how we can choose the data that we want to process into an image. Medical images are comprised of a matrix of pixels. The pixel is a representation of a specific area in its height and its width. The voxel is the third dimension or depth. It's the amount of data that we're collecting in a specific area. Each pixel is assigned a numeric value that represents a shade of gray based on the attenuation characteristics of the volume of tissue imaged or a specific color. Each pixel can only be one shade of gray or one color. Let's now look at the primary characteristics of the data we've collected. They are the frequency of the data, the contrast of the data, and the signal-to-noise ratio of the data. We use the characteristics of the data and where it's stored to show our original image or to manipulate or post-process the image. Image digitization is the process of converting an analog signal or analog image into a numerical data for processing by the computer. To create this data, we analyze the analog or continuous data. We then sample the data and then use that sample to quantify the data into numbers. These digitized numbers are used to create the image through coding. Coding is the assignment of a binary digit sequence to each discrete output from the quantizer. Let's review. We are analyzing the interaction of tissue with energy to create digital images. These samples create the raw data. This data is then stored and used to create images. The data is stored line by line in the computer for the operator to select to utilize to create images. Each line of storage represents the data stored for the matrix at specific location. Let's take a look at the storage of an MRI image in case space and the retrieval of that storage and the creation of the image. Notice we're creating position, luminance, and contrast. We begin by building in detail and then filling in contrast to create the image. As you can see, the more data we put in, the more signal we have, and the better quality image we demonstrate. This is representative of noise or signal-to-noise ratio. The overall objective of medical imaging is to acquire useful information about physiological processes or organs of the body by using external or internal sources of energy such as X-ray and gamma radiation. The next important consideration is the principle of imaging to be used for obtaining the data or the physics of imaging. Imaging instrumentation. The instrumentation used in collecting the data is one of the most important factors defining the image quality. The quality of your software and the quality of your equipment directly affects the final outcome. Image processing and analysis methods are aimed at the enhancement of diagnostic information to improve manual or computer-assisted interpretation of medical images. 
Understanding how digital images are made from the interaction of energy with tissue is critical to providing quality interpretation. Thanks for your time and your attention. We look forward to providing you more information on your next click.